Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Expert Angular interview series. And in today's episode, we are going to cover top interview question and answers on RxJS. If you haven't checked out our previous episodes, I request you to kindly do so to gain the valuable information and knowledge for cracking any Angular interview. In this tutorial, I, like I said, we will be covering Angular RxJS. If you have any doubts, any queries, drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you for free. Before we get started, I am putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these questions and videos. So please subscribe to my channel to keep encouraging and supporting me. Let's get started with Angular RxJS top interview question and answers. So the first question that is usually asked is, what is your understanding of RxJS? Have you used it in your applications? So what is RxJS? RxJS is a library for composing asynchronous and callback based code in a functional reactive style using observables. Many APIs such as HTTP client produce and consume RxJS observables and also use operators for processing their observables. So RxJS is a uh, reactive JS component which is loosely coupled uh, based on reactive react framework but it's used mainly to subscribe to a data of streams which is basically done using observables so to do that uh, the first thing we do is in your http client you import the required modules from rxjs so some of the commonly imported ones are observable and throw error but you can also definitely import other operators like catch error retry map etc we'll see them in details but for now understand what is rxjs it is a library for composing asynchronous and callback based code in your angular applications using observables now usually they you will always come across this subscribe um, method so it's bound in interviews if you are applying as an experienced developer they are bound to ask you what is subscribing what do you understand by subscribe so an observable instance begins publishing values only when someone subscribes to it. So you need to subscribe by calling subscribe method of the instance. Let's take an example of creating and subscribing to a simple observable. Nothing fancy, just a simple observable. So here, if you see, uh, we are creating my observer, which is nothing but next x console log. We got a value error and then complete. So remember in Angular, whenever you make a HTTP call, we always subscribe it. So whenever you call subscribe, an observable will start publishing values that it receives. So that is important to know that there are two types. One, when you call HTTP, you can directly get the response and show it, send it to UI. The other is on a, over a period of time, you can get different values. And that is where observables comes into picture. That brings us to our next question which is what is an observable an observable is a unique object similar to a promise that can help manage async code observables are not part of the javascript language so we need to rely on a popular observable library called rxjs the observables are created using the new keyword so remember this whenever you want some data to come over a period of time now that is called an observable you keep listening to that so that you can subscribe to the new values that you're getting and how do you create a new observable you can create by putting the keyword new observable observables are declarative which provide support for passing messages between publishers and subscribers they are mainly used for event handling asynchronous programming and handling multiple values in this case you define a function for publishing values but it's not executed until a consumer subscribes to it so you can publish some values from the backend, but if you don't have a subscriber, it will not work. Now, what is an observer? Observer is an interface for a consumer of push based notifications delivered by an observable. It has below structure. So you can have, um, you have four um, properties. You may call it interface observer. Then you have closed. What should it do next? And what should happen on error? And what should happen on complete? A handler that implements the observer interface for receiving observable notifications 
will be passed as a parameter for observable and then you can subscribe to it as my observable dot subscribe my observable now this is a usually uh, thing that is asked like what is the difference between a promise and an observable so promise gets executed immediately on creation whereas observable does not start until something has subscribed to that Pr promise will always resolve to only one uh, provide only one value whereas observable can listen to multiple stream of values over time a promise will always push errors to the child promises subscribe method is used for handling for error handling which makes centralized and predictable error handling now promise uses dot then clause so you will always make a promise resolve dot then what should happen whereas observable provides chaining and subscription to handle complex applications so this is a very important question usually asked when you talk about rxjs so go through this table understand it if you don't understand certain things ask me in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you for free so how what are different ways of creating an observable right so you can create an observable out of a promise you can create using an ajax request but that's rarely done uh, in in applications usually we'll use http of either angular or native react uh, but yeah you can always do that uh, with a ajax request now you can create using a counter or you can create using an events so these are various types that you can use uh, to build uh, your observable all right now the next question is what is multicasting is a practice of broadcasting to a multiple list of subscribers in a single execution so we have seen that um, we can do subscribing with one um, subscribing to one of the observable <coughs> but using multicasting we can we can subscribe multiple times like here you can see here we are doing two subscribes right so we can do that uh, easily so we can have multiple subscribers uh, in a single execution how do you perform error handling in observables <clears throat> so like i said every observable returns an error callback right so it will have four things it will have next it will have error it will have closed so these things so whenever you want to do error handling we will implement that in the error callback method <clears throat> error callback method as shown below <clears throat> so what is the shorthand notation for subscribe method so how do you subscribe like i mean this is again a simple thing can you give me an example of how do you subscribe so let's say you have an observable so you can just write dot subscribe and then write x which is the data which is then error and then complete what should happen so these are the four things that a subscribe uh, takes what are some of the utility functions provided by rxjs <clears throat> so this is mainly used to see your understanding if if you have worked with other rxjs operators so it provides um, you know utilities to convert existing code for async operations iterating through values in a stream mapping values to different types and filtering streams and composing multiple streams so these are some of the things that you can use by utility functions provided by rxjs i'm going to cover full details with a hands on practical examples because this is something that a lot of people have been asking me and i am also interested in sharing it to you so stay tuned for that all right so that brings us to the end of rxjs part 1 i hope you like this tutorial please please subscribe to my channel to keep supporting also stay tuned i'm bringing more tutorials on rxjs since you, a lot of you have asked on it thank you so much for joining today i'll see you in the next episode